In order to regress the vapor pressure data for trichloromethane, I will first use jump start, start the Dortmund data bank, and in the search dialog, I'm going to say add search component to search for trichloromethane. It found it as chloroform. Uh, the trichloromethane is the alternate name of chloroform. That's why it found it. I double click. Here it is. System exact match. We get all data for chloroform. One component system only, pure component data, and some POW, which is octanol water partition coefficients. Now I disable display empty sets. We only want to see the sets that are actually here on the computer and not all the DDB. Um, I use vapor pressure. Here are several sets. Let's mark these sets. It's altogether six sets with 31 data points. And go to this pocket calculator, fit selected data sets. So here we are. Let's say Antoine equation and we can directly go to fit. There's a number of settings we could do here. Uh, cut the range of temperature or pressure. Here are the properties which are used. Uh, normal boiling point for some methods they are required. And down here we can select the objective function and this is one which divides the error through the absolute relative error and uh, the effect of the temperature error on the pressure. Let's fit this. The fit is already done. And we can directly plot the results. And here you see we always put things like a melting point in, which is over here. I will disable the melting point so we see a little bit more. And it looks like a pretty good fit, but I think there's some scatter here in the data. In the logarithm, we don't see that so well. And in the relative deviations here now, we see that there were actually two groups. It's the above group and the group below. If I move the cursor, you see that there's a line to the next data point. Please have a look at this. This is the reference. So all these points come from the same reference. This one is from 71 and all these others are from newer sources. So I go up here, right mouse button, and exclude the points from this reference, which will remove all these points. I go up to refit, plot again. Now the yellow points were not used, and the Relative deviations are now all around one, around zero down here, and these data have a quite high deviation, more uh, three to four percent approximately. And here are the absolute deviations, and here is this kind of maximum likelihood fu function. Now, so we removed uh, the old data, these outliers. Not always the old data are the bad ones. Now. Um, I go back and here now we see the parameters and I could copy and paste them but we are now interested in uh, what unit are these parameters and I could save these parameters for example in the private database and now uh, here these are my values and uh, here is the manual which now, sorry, in this version is not available, but it would tell us the units for these parameters. At this point I only fit them, and in a separate MathCAD file we look at the conversion. 